Well, some of Team USA's biggest stars, including Ali Raisman, testified on Capitol Hill today about Dr. Larry Nasser, the former USA gymnastics physician who sexually abused them. The Senate is looking into why the FBI failed to investigate Nasser even after the women reported what was happening. Sports to hide in plain sight. Olympic champions Simone Biles, Ali Raisman, Michaela Maroney, and former gymnast Maggie Nichols all arrived on Capitol Hill to testify about the sexual abuse they suffered at the hands of USA Gymnastics doctor Larry Nasser. Nasser found more than 100 new victims to molest. It was like serving innocent children up to a pedophile on a silver platter. Why did none of these organizations warn anyone? To be clear, I blame Larry Nasser, and I also blame an entire system that enabled and perpetrated his abuse. Congress is looking into why the FBI failed to launch an investigation into Nasser sooner. FBI agents in the Indianapolis office did interview Michaela Maroney over the phone in 2015, during which she gave graphic details of the abuse. I began crying at the memory over the phone, and there was just dead silence. I was so shocked at the agent's silence and disregard for my trauma. After that minute of silence, he asked, is that all? But the Department of Justice's Inspector General says the office failed to formally launch an investigation. Inspector General Michael Horowitz says that the agents then lied about what Ms. Maroney told them on the phone. Sources tell CBS News that FBI Director Christopher Wray, who was not director at the time, was outraged over the handling of the Nasser investigation. And CBS News confirms the agent who failed to launch the investigation has been fired. On no planet is what happened in this case acceptable. Ray says he's implemented changes to bureau policies and procedures to make sure future investigations are not hampered. And the gymnasts say they want those involved in the cover-up prosecuted. The DOJ's inspector general is recommending criminal charges against the FBI agents who buried and covered up the initial report, but the department declined to indict the individuals.